It's such an inspiring view to see tens of thousands of people here rallying for democracy. It's a pleasure to address you on behalf of all European socialists and social democrats, together with my friends and comrades from Germany, Sweden, United Kingdom and Bulgaria. I'm not here, I'm not here to preach or teach you. I'm here to listen to your voice. And I was listening very carefully. Your message is clear, crystal clear. You clearly said you want peace. Condolences to the families of people who died during the terrorist attack in Kumanovo. What a tragedy. Condolences to the families of people who died in Kumanovo. But here I see people of different ethnicities coming together. I heard very clearly that you want democracy. I heard journalists who said that the freedom of speech was suppressed for too many years. And this is not acceptable, not anymore. I heard people from the civil society, from NGOs, saying how they were proclaimed enemies because they have different views. And this is not acceptable. I heard how much money has been spent on luxurious projects instead of health care, jobs, and social support. And I heard many people saying one and the same phrase, Nema Pravda, Nema Mir. And I want you to know that your voice is heard in the European Union. I want you to know that you do matter because I see today the United Civil Society of the Republic of Macedonia. And nobody can ignore it. Neither the government, nor Europe, nor any other international partner. Dear friends, I would like to commend the leader of the Social Democratic Union, Zoran Zaev, for saying the truth, having the courage to say the truth.